Hello traders, in today's video I'll be showing you how you can use the smart trader to trade differs in the real. Alright, now most of you have always been interested in using smart trader but you don't know how. So I'll, I'll start by showing you how to use it when trading differs. So what you do is go to traders hub. Okay, okay in this video I'm illustrating using, uh, using the demo account. So basically you go to traders hub. Alright, once you go to traders hub I want you to scroll down. Uh, sorry, just scroll up and then select open in the smart trader um button once you select open the site will open now this is the first thing you will see you will see the market trade type start time you might be wondering where to go from here now if you're trading volatilities i want you to come and select market and then proceed and select stock indices all right and then scroll 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 until you reach to this point okay whereby you can find your volatilities and then I want you to select one volatility. Let's say you have analyzed volatility 10 1 S. So proceed and select volatility 10 1 S. Now, once you select it, you have the start time. Okay. Start time, just leave it at now. All right. Now, after you have selected the market, it is time to select the trade type. Now, if you're trading matches and differs like us, you'll come and select matches and differs. And then now here is where you put the ticks that you're using. Remember, we usually use one tick for traders in the Reeve, uh, for most traders, okay, or for those traders who listen to the Reeve Navigator Academy. So I'll just come and put one. All right. Always use ticks, okay. And then now you put your last digit prediction. Now, this is how you can use it to analyze. Now, when you scroll to the bottom here, you will see chart, explanation, and last digit stats. Now, if you're a new trader in the Reeve, all right, you will be given an explanation on how matches and differs works. Okay, you will see if you select matches, you will win the payout if the last digit of the last tick is the same as your prediction. If you select differs, you will win the payout if the last digit of the last tick is not the same as your prediction. And then here you have an, another explanation entry spot. The entry spot is the first tick after the contract is processed by our server. So it basically gives you a general idea of what um volatilities are about or basically of what matches and differs is about if you want to see a chart that is based on how matches and differs is, uh, is moving you'll have that chart right here as you can see this chart, basically this line um, line chart is a depiction of what is happening in the matches and differs market okay now what you want to focus on in this video is come here to last digit stats okay now in the last digit stats you'll notice we have the green bar and the red bar all right now the green bar is the one for the most appearing number and the red bar is the one for the least appearing number. Okay, now this is the trick you can use to, okay, by the way guys, leave the ticks, the number of ticks to 100, leave it as, as it is, alright. Now, here is the tricky part. When most people change volatilities in this, um, 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 in the smart trader, don't change it from here. Okay, you can change it from here just to analyze, but for easier purposes, always change it from here, alright. Or when you change, okay, let me show you what I mean. When, as, see, when I come here and change to volatility 15 1s, you can see here I've selected volatility 15 1s, but up, uh, sorry, up here it is volatility 10. So if I were to, to go and execute my trade right here, I would have been trading volatility 10 1s instead of 15. So you can be changing here just to analyze, but always remember to come and change here. Or you can always just change here. Once you change here, it will change automatically um, down there. All right, if I select 25, you can see right here, it has updated automatically. Okay, so that is a trick that you can use, all right? Only change here if you're analyzing, but once you're done, always remember to come back here and change to the same volatility you had selected down here for easy analysis. All right, yeah, so this that is basically the outlook of the site. Here is where you can set your duration. Here is where, to, uh, where you set your last digit prediction. The stake that you're using, you can set it here, all right? Put the stake that you want to use. And then now this is where you execute your trade. This is where you can press, uh, you can purchase uh, matches or purchase differs, okay? Yeah. So if you want to trade um, differs, what strategy do you use? So I'll come here. Let me show you. So basically, you want the, um, the red bar, all right? First of all, you want the red bar and the green bar to be, not to be together. Yeah, they should be separated like this, as you can see on my screen. They should be separated by two or three bars, okay? You want them to be as far away from each other. Remember, the same strategy applies. Now, whatever you are seeing here, these green bars are the same as the digit circles, okay? It is just that they are represented differently. But whatever you are seeing here is whatever is happening in the digit circles. But now here, it is more, um, it becomes better or it becomes easier to analyze, okay? Now, uh, when you want to look at, uh, so basically what you, we want so that you are able to trade, we want this red bar to have a difference of 3% or above from any, other, from any other bar. What do I mean? So if 
um, all these bars, let's say, as you can see, this bar is 6%. Okay, the second last bar is 6%. So our red bar should be 3% and below. So basically, we want our red bar to have a difference of 3% and above from all other bars. Okay, and then we enter. Let us see if we'll find such a market because I know we'll find it. As you can see here, the second last buy is 7. And okay, so this one is not favorable for us. I want to find a good one. And then I will proceed. Like this one. You can see one has a percentage of 5. And the, and the second last bar has a percentage of 8. So the red bar has a difference of 3% and above from all other bars. So this is a safe market. Okay. Another thing. Once you notice the bars are not moving like this. Always change. So you can, you can, you can go back to 15 1S. All right, you can go back to 15 1s and uh yeah you, you can just change and ensure always ensure these bars are constantly moving all right always ensure these bars are constantly constantly moving or yeah because anytime you see the bars are not moving it signifies the your, your site or your website or the internet you're using is lagging and you might end up seeing the wrong information Okay, yeah, uh, and guys, sorry about that noise you have right now. Okay, let us go to volatility 25 1s. In 25 1s, um, as you can see, the list um, number here is 6, the red bar is 6, but its percentage is not more than 3% difference from the other percentages. So we'll shift it and go to another one. Okay, I want us to find a good one because um, the opportunities here are usually very crazy. In fact, uh, sorry, in fact, trading differs whenever you're trading in Smart Trader. It becomes really, really simple for you as a trader. Okay. It becomes really easy for you as a trader. So it becomes very convenient for you to trade as a trader. Okay. Yeah. Let us look for another one. I'm trying to look for a good one. Okay. Yeah. So let us keep looking. Okay, we are looking, we are looking for a good one. Oh, sorry about this. Yeah, let us see, let us see if we'll be able to find one. Because once you find one, execution is usually very, very easy. Okay, you just basically have to find a red bar that has a difference of 3% and above from all other bars. Okay, yeah. Okay, in, whenever it comes to differs, you can trade even the normal volatilities. Okay, it is not much restricted. You are free to trade. Okay, like this one, guys, it is perfect. As you can see, 3 has a percentage of um, 4%, and all other ones, the, uh, the, the second last one has 8%. So the difference is 3% and above. So what you'll do is come here very quickly. Don't waste time. Come here, select 3, and then now start purchasing. Don't do any timing. Here you can start purchasing. Okay, as you can see, it is still favorable. So I'll just come and press differs for. For three, all right, as you can see, okay, the contract has lost. Okay, again, remember losses happen, so never fear about that. So, what I'll do, I'm trading as a normal trader, so I'll just come here and I use a stake of 110. Okay, remember, for you to recover, you need to use a stake of 11 times whatever you have, all right. So, I'll purchase one and then leave because now this market has become unfavorable. Yeah, because you can see now the difference is uh, less than three. Then that is why you have lost because the market has started gaining power. That is why I, I usually say whenever you're trading differs, ensure the least, the number of the least percentage is either stagnant or decreasing. Because if it gains momentum by even 1%, you are done for. Okay. And anytime you win, you'll be able to see everything. You'll be seeing your buying price, your final price, the profit you have. You'll, you'll also see the transaction reference. In case uh, your profit has a problem, you can always just take this reference and put it to the Derive customer care team and they'll guide you on how to proceed from there. Okay. Yeah. Let us look for another one. So I'll come to that one S and see. Let us see how that one S is positioned. As you can see, that one S also, uh, three is also the least occurring. So again, so we'll just come here. Okay, but as you can see, um, the difference now has become, okay, yeah, now it is good. So we'll just come and purchase another one. Again, we're just trading three. As you can see, that is another win. Okay, that is really good. So we just go, you can always keep on changing. Okay, here you're not limited. You do not need to do any timing. As you can see, this one is also a favorable one, but now this one favors six. So I'll just come here, select six. All right, and then press defaults because as you can see, yeah, that is another win. Because as you can see, 6 has 3% and all other ones, the second last one is um, 6%. But uh, uh, Sorry, but as you can see right now, um, 5 is losing power, so it might shift, the difference might shift to 6. Okay, so always keep on looking at that. Or you can just keep, uh, the best uh, one, 
easy way to do it is just keep shifting volatilities okay yeah just keep on shifting observing shifting observing differs does not need a lot of analysis because differs as, as you guys know the risk is quite low so you do not need to do such complex analysis whenever you're trading it okay yeah so let us go to now let us go to 10 uh, let us go to 10 one s again okay remember you're trading only volatilities not step indices do not be tempted to trade step indices only trade volatilities I'll be saying why in the coming video. So please, guys, ensure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss out whenever we upload new videos, okay? Yeah, I can see right now I'm trying to find a good one, okay? Yeah, that is the benefit of trading in Smart Trader. It becomes so easy, but now in Smart Trader, you can only trade manually unless you're observing in Smart Trader and executing with the DBR with a D Trader, all right? You can have a separate tab whereby, uh, where you are trading um, with a bot, okay? Yeah, so that it becomes easier for you. But guys, if you're thinking about trading on Smart Trader, I can advise you to start trading on Smart Trader because sometimes it is. But they, whenever you're trading manually, Smart Trader makes it so easy for you. I'll be making videos on how to trade over under in the Smart Trader, how to trade um, even odd and so on. So please, guys, ensure you subscribe because you don't want to miss out on these amazing videos. Okay, as you can see, this one, last digit prediction is two. So I'll just come in and start purchasing two. Yeah, as you can see, it is favorable based on what you have discussed. It is really favorable. Yeah, and that is how you basically trade in, um, in Smart Trader manually and how you trade differs in Smart Trader. It is not easy. It is quite simple. If you have any question about this, please ensure you put it down in the comment section or you can WhatsApp me. My WhatsApp number is in the description. If you need both, I'll give you more than 100 trading bots and more than 100 documents containing various trading strategies extremely, extremely, extremely affordably. And I'm telling you, once you come to me wanting a bot, you will not go away without getting a boat, a good, good boat. So if you have always wanted a boat in the reef, WhatsApp me. And if you need classes, classes are ongoing, ensure you WhatsApp me so that you don't miss out. Otherwise, guys, I appreciate you being here until um, this point. Keep on trading, keep on pushing, and let us meet in the next one.